Hey everyone, I'm Joe and I'm with Dr. Joe No Solar. Guys, welcome back to another edition of Spotlighting Small Businesses for Small Business Saturday. Um, we have here my man Joe with Sunrun and Dr. Joe No Solar here. Correct. Dude, I'm Correct. excited to have you on here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having um, me. For people that are wondering, what is you know Dr. Joe No Solar, right? Yeah, so I am a doctor, mm -hmm. uh, I'm really a chiropractor. I stopped practicing mm -hmm. um, and I started working um, with a company, Sunrun, the mm -hmm. largest residential solar company in the United States, um, which, you know, that's where the name came from, Dr. Joe Knows Solar, right. you know, because, you know, I'm in that space. I'm trying to educate other people on the, you know, benefits of going solar. Got it. And what made you say I'm taking that leap? Um, a few things. Um, when, when you're a doctor, your innate want is just to help as many people as possible. Right. So with the current conditions of the world, environment, climate change, and these type of things, um, you can have such a large effect just by helping one person go solar on the entire world. Right. So every single person I can help, I'm actually helping everybody. So right. you physically can't help more people than that at right. one time. So right. I, I'd be, I'm able to selfishly satisfy that need to just help as many people right. as possible. And bring some longevity to this planet. Correct. Whatever Correct. billion years, whatever it is left before whatever the sun they expands. Say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, now, what's the product offering? So obviously I know it's commercial based. Like how does that work for people that are curious about like what you offer so, and how it works? Like do you come to their house? Do you make an assessment? How does it work? Yeah, so what I do specifically, there are different ways to do it. Some companies um, like Tesla will give you a quote on line mm -hmm. um, very impersonal and right. obviously there's a lot of things that add on at the end of it um, with myself you contact me I'll come to your home if you are a little far I can do a virtual or if you're uncomfortable someone being in your home I can do virtual but we're still face to face right. that interaction is what's the best totally. and then we go from there what we do is a, an assessment on your home which doesn't cost anything um, and then from there we see if your home qualifies to go solar because you do have to qualify with certain things totally. to be able to get the benefits and the maximum benefits of it. Right. Then at that point you can go solar right. for no cost up right. front. Right. Which is really what everyone talks about. No cost solar, no cost solar, no yeah. cost solar. And that's the way it is. We either are looking to replace your electric bill mm -hmm. by us becoming your new energy provider because we're much more um, green and we're a little bit more reliable and cost efficient than right. the current situation, or you become your energy provider, you buy the panels, we'll you know get a loan for you, we'll offer financing mm -hmm. at a very low rate as well. Right. Now you're your energy provider and you don't have to pay the energy company for it anymore. Mm. So very either way, cool. we're cutting them out. That's the goal. Right. What is something that you're super proud of in you know this new this new venture that you're in right now? Um, I'm, I'm super proud of myself to take the risk to do something like this because yes. this isn't this isn't the norm for right. someone in my world. Someone goes to school to be a doctor right. and you stop being a doctor, you get a lot of funny looks. And I've totally. gotten a lot of funny looks over the past couple months doing that. But I'm, I'm proud of my willing to stick it out and I'm proud of the company that I work for always looking to do better for the homeowners mm -hmm. and better for us as, as employees. I love that. So. And, and what's the legacy you want to leave back with what you're doing right now? Um, the legacy I want to lead is, is twofold. Um, within the solar industry, I want to leave a legacy of being able to go out and just help as many people as possible, mm -hmm. reach as many people as possible, and make solar seem a little more cool. Because mm. I think right now there's a lot of negatives to it and people don't truly right. understand it. So by bringing my doctor in there, I mm. hope people feel comfortable and are willing to actually give it a shot and see yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. Um, and then on the other end, I want to leave a legacy for my son to show him that no matter what you do in life, you're gonna take risks if you wanna to get to the next spot, mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to take those risks, but you also have to work very, very hard. I love that, man, that's amazing. Yeah. Nothing's more important than family, right? Nothing. So, last question is, throughout the pandemic, obviously, you have been a business owner too, before this. Yes. Um, how was the pandemic just for you, and also, what kept you positive and motivated through the pandemic? Obviously, you know, throughout this, you know, two years, there's been people who have lost their businesses, some people just barely held on, and some people were thriving, right? Mm -hmm. What has it been for you, and like, how, and how have you stayed positive throughout all of it? Number one thing I did was I exercised mm -hmm. the entire time, which sounds kind of crazy, but right. coming from a doctor background, being chiropractor, very into sports and nutrition, mm -hmm. um, I exercised every single day for at least an hour. It didn't matter what it was, what makeshift thing you make in your garage to do, but that kept me like mentally stable. Good. And then at that point, my focus was everyone else. Right. My focus was people. How, what can I do during this time to help all the people around that are going through something? So right. 
through social media, I would jump on, talk about my workouts or show my workouts, tell people some things they can do at home that are healthy eating wise or this, that or whatever. Right. Just always trying to provide a value to everybody else because I think that the more you give and the more you give and the more you give, mm -hmm. life will return to you in ways when you need it. Totally, and that's, it's so important. I think one of the things though too, um, you know, in my, in my perspective at looking at this whole entire pandemic, you know, it was completely obviously unexpected. We all yeah. thought it was like a two week, like <clears throat> limit the curve, whatever the hell it's called, right? 15 days to slow right, the curve. Right. I remember like everybody in my office was like, oh, it's two weeks, whatever. So like everyone was like, oh, we're gonna work from home for two weeks and they were so excited about it. And then here we are two years, whatever it is later, yeah. you know, <laughs> still going through some of it. Um, and I think that, you know, it brings in a different level of beast in you that like when you first started, right? When you guys, you know, when you're first starting your previous business or the people out there, when they first started their businesses, you know, you don't know everything. You can't plan for everything, but nope. you bump against the, the guardrails, if you will. And, you know, as you're learning, you just bring that into your arsenal of things that you can utilize. And it makes you go back when you were like, not, you know, again, not making money. A lot of business owners had to make hard decisions, right? Yeah. With cutting employees, furloughing employees, you know, their own financial well-being, then what they're gonna do with their clients. Mm -hmm. Like there was such a whirlwind and the the only business cool part about it for the businesses that were able to make it out um, is the thought process that nobody, even in the Great Depression, never in America or most of the countries have, have any business been through that, right? There have been yeah. businesses that have been around since 1800s, but they've never seen this on a yep. global level, especially. Yep. And to be able to get through it, to learn from it, to navigate through it, um, is a really cool thing and it's, a, it's like a Harvard education you put in your pocket oh, yeah. to say, you know, I'm able to get through this, right? So yes. we're, we're pandemic proof or a recession proof or whatever it is business. Um, and here's how we were able to do that, you know? Exactly. Um, so it's so cool. So, um, and, and one of the things I could say too is a lot of people don't coordinate. So you being a doctor and you being super now about the world and renewable energy. Yeah. Like, what would you say to people out there who are like, oh, you know, I don't have the time to work out or, you know, I just don't get to it. like. Obviously, it's helped you throughout the pandemic. I follow you, obviously, we're, we're friends. Yes, so yes, I do yes, see yes. you every morning, like yeah. at absurd hours, working out, getting getting in the workout and getting your body going. Um, what advice would you give people out there who are just not making the time to do it? Um, I mean, I'm, a, I'm very abrupt when I talk and I, my thing to them would be stop being lazy. Right. You, your health is the most important thing because mm -hmm. you can't do anything for anybody else without it. Totally. So whether it means waking up a half hour earlier or turn the TV off or getting off social media for a half an hour just to do something, do something. Right now I'm doing you know, 15 minutes of cardio a day no matter what. Right. If that's the only workout I get for the day, okay. I try not to make it the only one. Right. But 15 minutes, everybody has 15 minutes. Totally. And you can imagine that even just that small amount, you make such a large change over time. Right. I think today, later tonight, when I hop on Peloton, it'll be day 100. Right. So it's small little steps, but it helps. Anything helps. Right. So. Well, first off, again, thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. Where can people find you? you know, social-wise, website-wise, let them know where they can, you know, essentially go engage well, with you. Thank you for having me. And of um, the easiest way is Dr. Joe Knows Solar, um, and that's everything. Website, social medias, all these kinds of things, all that stuff. I don't know all that stuff that well, but I know it's all Dr. <laughs> Joe Knows Solar. So right. if you type that in, you're gonna find me. Right, thank you so much, hey, I appreciate thanks, it. Man.